this video explains the design the CR force reinforcement for the 600 millimeter by 350 millimeter cantilever beam which is shown here cover to the fitment is to be 40 millimeters uh, on all side and the characteristic compress is 20 32 megapascal so we have a beam is given it has a two supports support at b uh, support at a support at b and there is a cantilever at c the uniformly distributed load is 150 kilonewtons the um, the support has a width uh, 300 millimeters um, uh, the distance between support a and b is 5.2 millimeter distance between support b and c is 1.8 meters i also provided the cr force diagram now the CF force diagram just a calculating from the structure analysis um, uh, it's not uh, a purpose of this video to show the uh, so the dota CR force diagram I assume that the CR force diagram is known now uh, we also provided the reinforcement uh, it is the bottom tensile reinforcement here over the supports where you have a tensions uh, you have top reinforcement now let's uh, let's do some some uh, solutions now to 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 design for this year reinforcement we generally start uh, uh, with the assumptions that uh, we take uh, r10 stirrups um, uh, it's a double leg fitments um, and uh, we have an area for one leg so is a pi by four times diameter diameter is 10 so 10 square that give us 79 millimeter square which is rounding of 80 millimeters millimeter squares uh, it's just easy for us to calculate later on so we just put 80 millimeter square now it has two legs so for two legs for the cr reinforcement we need to take the area asv which is the area of two legs so this is the area of one leg so we multiply by two to get the asv this is the area of the one fitments that is calculated by the taking the area of two fitments so that is 160 millimeters now there is a one condition any cf examples we need to check these conditions whether the concrete is crossing or not and the section is adequate for example this section which is provided 650 millimeters by 350 millimeters is adequate or not if this condition does not satisfy meaning that this concrete is crossed and the section is not adequate so we start we start is the design shear reinforce design shear strength which design shear strength which is we star which we take it from the from the from the CR force diagram which is 437 kilonewtons that is written here now this capacity factor is uh, uh, capacity reduction factor is 5 0 0.7 which is taken from table 2.2.2 on page number 36 on AS 36 uh, 00 2018 so it has uh, on the on the AS 36 00 2018 on page number 36 on table 2.2.2 Two, it has given capacity reduction factor 5 now we are working with this uh, CR so go to the section E and in that one we have a class N fitments providing requirement of other than shear strength uh, limited by web crossing so you take 0 0.75 but we have R fitment so we take it uh, uh, 5 factor 0 0.7 so that is 0 0.7 here now vu maximum the oscillant standard has provided the equation for that on page number on page number 116 uh, on close 8.2.3.3 we have a equation to calculate the shear strength these big equations are are, are 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 written here we are not at the transfer so we just need to take it uh, vu maximum this equation that is copied copied here now a 0 0.55 that's big equations uh, now I will calculate those uh, those values one by one now d0 d0 equal to db that is nothing but 650 which is your which is your depth 650 minus the cover minus the cover uh, let let me draw the figure here that will explain everything here so if you have a if you like to calculate the uh, this uh, d0 or d so if you take this reinforcement here that will measure from here to here so this is a this is the this is a this is a d0 or d now uh, this length is given uh, as a as a 650 this cover is given 40 and we have a stirrups uh, that is there is stirrups goes here so this stirrups has a diameter this is stirrups diameter that is given 10 uh, that we assume here uh, r10 so that is 10 millimeter and this is the radius of this uh, um, reinforcement 28 
so we have a reinforcement at the bottom 28 millimeters so this is four bars and 20 so 28 is a millimeter so we have this value 28 by 2 because this is measured from reinforcement so this distance can be calculated by 650 take away cover 40 take away this t drops 10 millimeters take away 28 by 2 it gives us 586 millimeter now um, after calculating this d because we need to calculate this um, uh, this value d0 uh, please note this is uh, this is this is d not b all right uh, after that uh, we we calculate this one uh, we need to calculate dv dv is nothing but that is uh, dv is uh, denote dv is defined as a effective shear depth effective shear depth is given in the close 8.2.1.9 we can write these three lines but these three lines is basically saying that it should be taken maximum of 0.72 d or 0.9 d now that is that is written here now maximum 0.7 times d 650 depth is 650 given here in the question is 650 uh, times 0.9 and we just calculated small d 586 we substitute this one we take maximum of 468 times 527 uh, the maximum value dv which is effective cr depth is 527 millimeter taking pre-stress in the example so we take pv equal to 0 theta v equal to 36 degree uh, that is given in the australian standard that is the angle of crack on close number uh, on on page 119 on close number 8.2.4.3 we have a theta v value is 36 so we're taking the theta v constant value uh, that is that is written here so we take this theta v equal to 36 alpha v equal to 90 degree so theta v is nothing but does just the angle of crack theta v is the angle of fitment with the longitudinal axis so alpha v we have a fitment 90 degree alpha v equal to 90 degree because we have a uh, fitment which is the uh, fits um, which is 90 degree to the longitudinal axis so cot 90 degree is given cos 90 over sine 90 0 or 1 equal to 0 so we substitute all these values in this equation 0 0.55 fc is 32 given in the questions fc dash is 32 given in the questions 350 is the bv is the width of the beam which is 350 uh, millimeters given in the questions uh, 527 which is dv defective depth uh, of the beam we we calculated 527 times theta v quad theta v theta v is uh, 36 degree uh, plus quad 90 1 plus quad square 36 and pv is 0 now if you simplify this one and please note quad 36 is 1 over 10 so 1 over 10 36 in your calculators simplifications give the answer in the newtons divided by 1000 given the answer in kilonewton which is 1544 kilonewton now um, we need to calculate the uh, phi vu maximum so we can have a 0 0.7 times this calculated value we just calculated 1544 millimeters 14 kilonewtons times by the capacity factor 0 0.7 we just noted capacity factor 0 0.7 from table 2.2.2 so we use 1081 kilonewton now we compare this one since we start which is we we predicted um, 437 kilonewton which is less than uh, the phi uv maximum which is 1081 so the concrete will not cross and the beam size which is which is 650 by 350 millimeters is adequate now we need to find the find the minimum fitments uh, what is the minimum fitments and the spacing of the minimum fitment the way we're gonna start is going to look at where the we will going to look at the shear force diagram when the shear force diagram has a zero or minimum uh, less uh, shear this is maximum where near the support it has a maximum uh, reinforcement so we are looking for the zone where we have a positive bending or where we have a low uh, shear uh, uh, load low design shear force so that we're going to focus on now for for this case we we can uh, find it out minimum shear capacity uh, that is vu mean and then vu mean equal to vus plus vu mean uh, now vus is nothing but the shear capacity of the concrete which is vus and that shear capacity of the concrete is given on page number 117 
on page 117 uh, we have a close 8.2.4.1 it has given the kv bv dv square root epsides uh, they have a conditions given um, uh, our examples is not fall in any of these conditions but you can read this one uh, it's about the concrete is um, should not be more than 65 megapascals uh, the fitment strength is 500 megapascals and uh, and the aggregate particle size uh, should not be less than 10 millimeters so there are three conditions we don't have these conditions here in this example so we we can use these equations now uh, for now there are few parameters that we need to calculate uh, assume that ASB greater than S and ASB minimum greater than S uh, so we can calculate the KV we need to assume this one so the KV is um, is uh, it can be found in the in the page number 119 in close 8.2.4.3 we have a kv well uh, kv we have two equations if the if if, if the s is both side cancel then asv less than asv minimum and asv greater than asv minimum so we assume that our uh, fitment area is greater than the provided asv mean in that case we take kv equal to 0.15 we assume that one but we will check that assumption later we check this assumption whether this is valid or not we can check this one later so in that case vus is equal to kv bv dv and square root fc kv is 0 0.15 as i mentioned it's taken from the from the close 8.2.4.3 and kv is equal to 0 0.15 by taking this assumptions bv is 350 bv is 350 millimeters dv 527 we calculated uh, dv 527 millimeters uh, so once you know this uh, capacity uh, uh, capacity of uh, of the shear capacity of this uh, concrete which is 157 next we will look at how to calculate the minimum uh, shear uh, steel shear capacity uh, in the next video thank you